Hey, thanks for joining me today. Um, on today's MDS video, I want to show you a really fun trick. And this is how I made my Halloween banner for MDS, or out of my digital studio, which is the digital design tool created by Stamping Up. And so I'm making a Halloween banner, and I use these houses here, and they're actually made with a punch. Now, you're going to notice we don't actually have a Halloween house punch or a house punch, but um, I just want to show you the trick on how I made it. So if you come here to punches and go to add punch, I then used my tag punch and I came down and I picked my um, tag punch here. So this one, and I'm just going to hit edit shape. I don't know if you can see that. So there's an edit shape button down here. And again, this is in the updated MDS version. So I'm going to hit edit shape and now I want to create my house. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch this out and I'm going to stretch this out. This is going to be my roof. And this is going to come to a point in the middle. So I'm just using these anchors and it enables me to move my lines. I'm just going to put this up here just to ensure that it's a straight line. Now when I click and highlight on this line, I'm going to insert a point. And now I'm going to take this point right down here to the bottom. And I'm going to drag, oh, I did that wrong, sorry. I'm going to, there we go, drag this over. And this is going to make my house. So again, I'm going to click and highlight. I'm going to insert a point. I'm going to bring this up. And that's going to make the side of my house. But then I wanted it to be kind of a spooky house. And I wanted to curve sides here. So I came to the, the row. It says insert curve. So I'm going to insert my curve. And I'm going to pull on. See, this one makes a straight point. So I'm going to just have that anchor on top of the other anchor. And I'm going to take my midpoint, that curve. And I'm going to just, you know, make whatever kind of curve I want. And again, I'm going to come over to this line. I'm going to insert curve. I'll bring my straight piece down to my anchor at the bottom. And now I'm just going to curve this in. And maybe I'll do that more on the bottom. And now I say, okay, that's the punch that I want. So I'm going to say, okay. Now I'm going to call this house punch. Hit okay. And I'll show you where this ends up. So now I've created a punch that I can make bigger. I can make smaller. I can do whatever I need to it. I can fill it now with designer series paper. So I'll just show you that it's treated as any punch would be. So it's also got that, um, you know, vector file or whatever it is that enables us to stretch it. So you can see here that it's just being treated as a punch. Now, if I wanted to make another one of these, you'll see down here this new file is called users. So this is any punch that I've created. So you can see here I've played a lot with um, what is in the program. And I've made half chevrons and I've got my Halloween house and there's another house I did. Um, these ones I've created to use for different text boxes. So just some fun stuff that you can do now to manipulate the punches that are already provided. So hopefully that helps in, in showing you how I made my house on my Halloween banner. Have a great day!